Well, David, first your reflections on a disappointing defeat. You probably could have and should have got more out of the game. Yeah, uh, it felt like that they had a couple of shots, but nothing that really tested us until the, literally straight after half time. I don't know if they caught us cold or whatever. They brought a few lads off and a few lads, young lads on that were, that were very lively, but we've got to deal with things like that. Um, it was a good show in the first half. They had some first team lads out, thought we defended resolutely and, and really stuck at our guns and they didn't have much to offer. Um, and then going forward, we, we tested their, their goalkeeper, but just not enough. Um, it was uh, light shots and things like that. And um, But we, we went into half time feeling good and, and uh, like the manager said, spoons and as Avi was just saying, you've got to keep that. You've got to keep your defensive composure as well as uh, more positive on the on the forward point of view. Especially in the first half, you seem to control the game for large periods and cause cause a lot of problems to Bristol City. Yeah, definitely because we stayed compact. Um, we've done a lot of work on that, and, and we tried to play out from the back and and really up, open them up because we knew they'd come on to us. And when they they seen that we was playing through and being positive, um, we caused a lot of problems on ourselves and we just need to keep doing that and one lapse in the second half early on and uh, they score and it and then I think we got our heads down a little bit and then it wasn't until we made a few subs changed formation that we really thought oh we've got a chance here and I think we we pushed more than more than they did and I think at the end if we'd have scored they wouldn't have been too agreed by that. Ashton Gate is now a good venue to play a nice pitch it's good to, for you to get some minutes under your belt as well. I, I guess much needed minutes. Yeah, I played here quite a lot of times, uh, and but never with a decent stand. <laughs> no, it was it was a good place to come before. You know, uh, very as, uh, atmospheric when you played uh, at first team level. But I haven't played for a while. I asked the manager if I could play, and he was he was more than happy to let me play. And look, you've got to stay ready. And I said, if you need me any time, I'll try and stay ready. And I, I, I like the young young lads and, and playing with them and, and being supportive around them and, and it's a good learning curve for me and, and, and puts me in the right frame of mind going back and uh, knowing that you've still got to be, I'm still ready for it, I still want it, I still I still live for it and, and if you want to better yourself you've got to go and do the things that some people would be otherwise wanting to do. So I asked to play, I wanted to play, I wanted to put myself in that situation and um, I'm learning all the time as well as these young lads are. As we know, it's been quite a testing time for you for over the last year or so. How have you kept going through all that to this point now? To be fair, we've got a lot of good people behind the, behind the scenes that, that you can speak to and you have fun with and I connect on a personal level. Like Obviously, you can't see behind the camera, there's a couple of lads here that, and yourself that obviously you know me from back then and I always try to smile and be positive around the place. and. Because sometimes in football it just isn't going your way and uh, I might have took a lot of stick but I stick with my guns and I'll smile and I'll, I'll tell people the truth and look, it is football in life, you get downs and you get ups but it's how you come out of those and I learned a lot from myself and I came out a better person so if people like now, people seeing me come out and play a 23s game after what happened last year, they think sometimes you just got to keep going and hopefully that instills positivity in their play. Obviously Pep Clotet welcomed you back into the fold, he said it was a clean slate yourself, Lee Camp sort of you know fighting for that first team spot. If called upon I guess as you said there you, you, you'll be ready and you'll always give your all. Yeah definitely and uh, I work really well with the, the goalkeeping section and Lee's done really well up until now uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that that might be something to do with me hoping to push him uh, hopefully he'll, he'll enjoy the, the fact that I'm pushing him, he's doing well. Ultimately, it's good for the manager, good for the team, good for the fans. So, look, I, I am here. I want people to know that, but I'm also professional enough to know that the manager's told me that I'm in, in the plans, but obviously I'm, I'm second choice at the minute, so I've got to believe in myself. And if, I, if it means me just supporting and the club doing well, then that's what I've got to do and, and enjoy the time that I'm doing it. And at first team level, the team has started well, good points return. But there is, there is that feeling that there's probably still still some things to iron out. There's still more to come. Yeah, on both sections, like we're trying to develop a different styles of playing, 
different formations being adaptable in, in games so we can change up and and uh, do something different if need be and, and really like surprise teams if, if we feel like we're getting a bit stale. Um, that's not going to happen overnight. Uh, Pep's done a great job. Um, he's brought some great people in to help him. Very experienced. And look, you just got to stay on that training ground and, and, and like you, you've you guys know you've videoed as many times and it's not easy sometimes and it doesn't always relate on the pitch what's going on so we believe and although there's things to iron out there's also things that we believe that we can do better going forward scoring more goals but the type of players we've got we've been able to adapt because we've got goal scorers that can score from anything you know we've got some great great really nippy little players and you've got people like Jude coming through who's a fantastic attribute to have around and then you've got the older heads like the Duke you know like he does what he says on the tin he scores and every day I say to him you've got to be selfish you've got to do what's good for you because you'll do well for the team and he, he just keeps scoring and look long may it continue 10 points from these six games so when you have a I have a little tally that if you can get 10 points from five games you're on a good old course for Usually you're in and around the mix at the end of the season, so for me I think it's a great return, um, and I think the fans are starting to be believe it a little bit more now. And, and really, sometimes change is difficult, and I'm one that can tell you that it's hard, but it, it can also be a good thing. So yeah, everyone's positive around the place, good showing today, happy, and although we lost a lot of learning, learning curves are being made. And just back on to this afternoon's game you're in front of a teenage defence I don't think mm. that's happened often has it in your career no maybe last year um, and a little bit when I was young but no like I came off the pitch and I was not not angry one bit at anything that they did they, they listen they'll, they'll tell me if I do something or they'll talk to me but that's the way it should be like there's a level out on that football pitch and like Jude came on and showed that it doesn't matter what age you are, if you can express yourself, and that's how it is on a football pitch. People sometimes hard to explain, but they see people shine at each other and they think, "Oh, what's going on there?" It, it's a way of talking on the football pitch, and it gets people fired up and emotions could run high. So, being able to be calm and collected when you're playing behind a, a young young set of lads that are doing brilliant and doing all they can, they just want to learn and do well. It, it's it's great to see and and. It, it brings back my love for football and, and shows me what I'm missing. So, look, I'll be asking to play more games if I'm not playing first team and long may it continue that I'm, I'm involved.